What's up everybody, it's Anis here. Welcome to another episode. This week we're in Santa Monica, California, five minutes away from the ocean and about to tour this newly constructed model home right behind me. This house has five bedrooms, eight baths, 6,415 square feet of interior space built on a 7,510 square foot lot. And this property is currently on the market for $7,695,000. We will leave more information about the property down in the description. And lastly, before we start our tour, I wanna to thank the listing agent, Lorraine Silver, at Pence Hathorne & Silver for allowing us to tour her amazing listing. Now, let's begin. All right guys, up front we have this fence wall wrapping around the front yard. And going this way, we have the walkway taking us up to the front entry of this home. Beautiful modern architecture, smooth stucco finish, complemented with the wood grid siding on the second floor. And I personally really like the overhang design that they have above the second floor balcony. Now, let's go inside. All right everyone, here we are at the second floor of this home. I say second floor because we actually have a floor below us. And on this level, we have the living room, formal dining area, backyard, and all that good stuff. Before we start our tour here, why don't we go this way, where we have the office. We see a lot of home offices as we tour these homes, but I personally really like this one because of all these built-ins right here with LED lighting, provides you a lot of storage. And this office has its own full bathroom. So come on in. We have hexagon floors, Floating vanity setup right here. And let's not forget the walk-in shower. They use the same hexagon tiles here as well. I like the pattern on that tile as well. Now, let's go back to the hallway and continue our tour. Now, this is where we have the formal living room area. Front facing, we can see the corner glass detail from here, bringing a lot of natural light in. It's a good sized space. We have the recessed lights, built-in speakers, but also it gets pocket doors right here that tucks into the wall right there, opening up to this little courtyard area. And this courtyard area continues to the second section of this home where we have the formal dining room area. It's all open from the front door. You can basically see all the way to your backyard. It's all continuous. And right in the center, we have the formal dining room area. I love the modern chandelier right in the center. Table for eight. And this area also opens up to the side yard area, which is nicely tiled some outdoor seating here and a cool water feature that brings some tranquility to the space. Here's another cool detail I want to mention. We have light wells here going down, bringing natural light to the first floor of this home. We'll talk more about that later. Now, going back inside of the home, this is where we have the elevator access and right across from the formal dining room area is where we have the powder room. Come on in. We have darker tones here floating vanity design with a towel rack on the side. And I personally really like these circular mirrors with a strap on top. Now, going back out to the hallway, let's talk about the next section where we have the family room. Open space, we have the sliders opening up to the backyard. Beautiful modern built-ins on each side of the fireplace with these LED lighting and some open shelving. Right in the center, we have the gas fireplace and all the things you need for your future TV. This is a beautiful book match slab right in the center. It's all open. Again, same recessed lights, built-in speakers. It's a really cozy space. I say cozy because it's right off the kitchen and it all flows. And let's talk about this kitchen. Very sleek, very modern. I love the contrast between the base cabinets and upper cabinets. We have a grand island here with marble countertops and a fabricated sink. Of course, we have the waterfall edge. It also serves as a bar seating, and let's not forget the modern chandelier right above. Looking this way, this is where we have the fridge and the freezer set up right here. Going this way, built-in appliances continue here. We have the espresso maker, your microwave, and this is where we have the access to the pantry space. Now, your cabinetry continues here. This is where we have the Miele gas stove. Of course, with the oven set up underneath it, your pot filler, and they use the Caesar stone countertops here. They also use it as a backsplash. They even clad the vent above it with the same Caesar stone. 
We love these bifold doors. And before we continue this way, I wanna briefly talk about the fabricated sink here. They use the same marble to create the small sink. Love the hardware with all the texture on it and plenty of storage on this side. And now let's talk about the sink setup. Mikey, can we get a close up here? This sink is pretty cool. So obviously it has a hidden drain, but they also have this built-in little rack. And Mikey, if you get a close up here, this is kind of the high point and this is the low point. There's a nice little gentle slope here. They use the same Caesar stone to fabricate the sink. And in case you wash your dishes, you can lay it out here for it to dry. It will all go down to the drain. We have a window set up in front of it with two casements on each side. And going this way, the cabinetry pretty much continues. We have the same bifold door cabinetry on this side and bit of a breakfast nook. So what's great about it is that we have an accordion door set up right here, opening up to the backyard. And just like I mentioned, we have these sliding glass doors pocket into the walls right there, opening up to the backyard. Overall, I love this floor because from the front entry, you can actually see the whole second floor of this home. In fact, let's show that real quick. We have the formal living room area, formal dining room area, family room, kitchen, all open on this level, opening up to this beautiful backyard. In fact, let's go check that out next. All right, now we have the whole second floor opened up to the patio space. Right above us is master bedroom balcony, but it kicks out a little bit, allowing this space to be covered. We have concrete floors here, some outdoor seating, gas fireplace, and as always, I love these details. They already thought about the future TV right there, so you have all your wiring and your plug. Built-in speakers, recessed lights. Right in front of us, we have an astro turf, and this side we already opened for you guys. This is where we have the kitchen and the breakfast nook all opening up to the patio space as well. And right next to it is your outdoor barbecue area. These are nice to have. You have your bar seating. It's close to the kitchen and let's not forget to show the fridge, some storage, your gas barbecue, and you even get a little sink, you get it all. So going this way, we're back at the turf area and this house has an above ground pool with a glass front. We're gonna talk more on this later, this is very cool. But let's cover this section real quick. The two car garage. Epoxy floors, high ceilings, and you can access this garage from the back alley. Now, going back out, let's talk about the cool pool design of this home. Obviously, you guys noticed the glass front that creates the infinity effect in this pool. We'll talk more on that later. Simple plaster design. And going this way, we have the mosaic tiles where we have the steps as well as the spa. And right next to it, between the garage and the pool is a nice lounging area. And stepping down where we can get a closer look to that infinity edge. Since this is an above ground pool, they put a glass section on this side. It just looks very cool, goes with the modern lines of this home. And since it's also an infinity edge, it serves like a little water feature. We have another one off of the dining room area. It just kind of adds up to the tranquility of this home. At night, light goes through it. Again, it's something different and unique to this home. Going this way, this is where you can access to the first floor of this home. I wanted to show the access from the backyard area, but we'll get there in a minute. Overall, love the backyard. You live in Santa Monica. We are five minutes away from the beach. It's all about the outdoor space. I love the open floor plan. We have all these glass sliding doors pocketing into the walls, as well as the accordion doors that all opens up to the outdoor spaces of this home. You have your infinity edge pool. You're really maximizing the outdoor usage of this home. And that wraps our tour for the second floor of this home. Now let's take the stairs, go down to the first floor and check out all the rooms. All right, everyone, here we are on the first floor of this home. We have a seating area and a bar set up here. To the left of me, we have the elevator access. And right behind me is the staircase with a storage right behind it. Let's start going this way. And the first room on our right hand side is the movie theater. We have plush carpet on the floors and they have these cloth walls separated with this wood paneling on the ceiling, on the center and on the bottom. Seating is nicely elevated so each seat gets a nice view of the movie theater. Overall, a good sized movie theater for this home. Now, going this way, we actually have one of the bedrooms on this level right here. Sliding glass door, accesses to the exterior hallway. We'll talk more on that later. And going this way is the bathroom for this bedroom. Full size bathroom, floating vanity, walk-in shower. You get it all. And before we leave, this is where we have the built-ins for this bedroom. 
Now, going this way, we're back at the main area on the first floor. We have the seating area right here. We have all the wiring for your future TV and your plug setup right here. Sliding glass doors opens up to the exterior hallway. And this is where we have the bar area complementing the first floor of this home. They have the same marble countertops that we saw in the kitchen. Plenty of storage. We have some open shelving right here. And Mikey, can we get a close up? This is where you have your wine fridge. Again, complementing this area. And right in front of it, we have a table here. Currently staged as a gaming table, but you guys get the point. It's a nice open space. Now, I wanna talk about this exterior hallway setup. Since we are below grade on the first level of this home, they actually have this exterior hallway right here. And the light walls that we saw on the second floor of this home is bringing natural light into this exterior hallway. And the end of it is where we have the first bedroom, where we have the sliding glass doors. Right here is where we have the living room area. And right on this side is the other access point, which allows you to come down from the backyard straight to your living room area on the first floor. Again, great bonus. And again, allows a lot of natural light to come in. Right next to the bar and the seating area is where we have the gym room. It's nice that they kind of partitioned this area with this glass section right here, kind of making the space feel a little bit bigger, but at the same time, you get a nice secluded area as your gym space, you get your full mirrors, it's the full effect. So do you think they uh, built this to be a gym space or is it kind of multi, multi-functional? I think it's multi-functional. I mean, they even have a TV bracket right there. So it's really up to you to use it however you like. It could even work as a nice little office. Now, this level gets a powder room and it's right here, floating vanity, pretty straightforward. And going this way, this is where we have the laundry room. We get plenty of storage. Your, your washer and dryer setup is right here. Some upper cabinetry and plenty of storage. Check this out. This is where you get access to your electrical panels, but also it's a bit of a storage room. And on the other side, we actually get another storage room. Come on in. This one is pretty big, but this one also serves the purpose. This is where we have the sump pumps for the lower level. Again, since it's below grade, you need to have sump pumps to keep this area waterproof. Now, that wraps our tour for the first floor of this home. Again, this level really complements the rest of the home. And it's nice to have a lower level floor like this where you can access straight from your backyard. And I hope everybody is enjoying this video so far. If you do, make sure to give us a like. As always, if you have any questions or input, always leave us a comment down below. If you haven't already, subscribe to our channel and then hit the notification bell so you get notified every time we post a new video. Now, let's take the stairs, go to the third floor and check out all the bedrooms. All right, everyone, as we're coming up to the third floor of this home, we can take a closer look at the staircase design. We have this back wall right here, full glass assembly, bringing a lot of natural light in. And this is a floating steel staircase design, open riser, glass railing, and this beautiful chandelier right in the center. Now, on the third floor, we have four bedroom suites, including the master bedroom. Why don't we start going this way, where we have the first bedroom. This is a front facing bedroom, gets a lot of natural light. We have a queen size bed right here. And these French doors open up to the balcony for this bedroom. And going this way is where we have the walk-in closet. And right next door is where we have the bathroom for this bedroom. Good sized bathroom. We have a floating vanity design right here and a tiled back wall continues into the walk-in shower and they use the same floor tiles in the walk-in shower as well. You get your chrome fixtures, overall good sized bathroom. Now, getting out of this bathroom and going to the other side of the hallway is where we have the second front facing bedroom, which is right here. Another good sized bedroom gets a ton of natural lights and we have the sliding glass door set up right here opening up to the balcony for this bedroom now on the other side we have the bathroom for this bedroom so let's check it out again same finishes continue here as well floating vanity design we have a tiled back wall going into the walk-in shower and they use the same floor tiles for this walk-in shower as well now let's go back to the hallway and go to the other side before we tour the third bedroom, this is where we have the elevator access on this level. Now, going this way, we have the third bedroom. 
This bedroom is facing to the side of the property. Again, it gets a lot of natural light. Again, it's another good size bedroom. This is where we have the walk-in closet. And just like the other two bedrooms that we just toured, this bedroom also gets a balcony with these accordion doors. Going this way is where we have the full bathroom for this room. Again, another floating vanity setup and the tall back wall continues into the walk-in shower. Pretty straightforward. Now, the last bedroom on this level, actually, before we do that, sorry about that, there's a hallway closet right here. Check it out. And let's check out this master bedroom. Come on in. It's a really good sized master bedroom, gets a ton of natural light, and I love how the bed is tucked back here, super private. And going this way is where we have a little bar set up right here with this cool little fridge. And going to the other side is where we have the master closet. Very sleek, very modern. I really like the cabinetry here. Paneled back walls, a lot of open shelving and hangar design, and just like the built-ins that we saw on the second floor of this home. We have the same design right here with plenty of storage. Island set up in the center, and let's not forget, you get dressed up here before you leave. You can take a look at yourself. Now, master bathroom. Great size bathroom. We have double vanity set up, floating vanities on each side of the bathroom. This is where we have the freestanding tub with a casement window design, bringing a lot of natural light in. In fact, there are actually a lot of windows in this bathroom. Another one right there, another one in the shower. And going this way is where we have the massive walk-in shower. Come on in. These, again, the same floor tiles are also brought into this walk-in shower. We have a nice little bench design right here and drain is nicely tucked underneath it. These big slab tile walls. You have your fixtures, let's not forget. You have your rain head. And one of my favorites, this little inlet right here to let the steam out. And last part of the bathroom is the water closet right here. Overall, I love the master bedroom suite. Great size closet. We have a beautiful bathroom here. And this bedroom is complemented with this balcony right here. But check this out. I love the sliding glass doors in this house. They have this really cool locking mechanism. Super easy to operate. And this, of course, tucks into the wall right here, opens up this entire master bedroom suite to this balcony. Another detail, Mikey, can we pan to the floors for a second? These are small pebble rocks, all epoxy glued to the floors right here. Not only it really helps the waterproofing of this balcony, it also gives it a nice little texture and it's actually really durable. So these are one of my favorite finishes. And this is a good size balcony right here. We have the pergola design above us. These are actually steel beams. They're not wood beams. And we can see some of the uh, exterior class of the home more close up over here and above us. Modern light fixtures, outdoor gas fireplace. And I like the outdoor connections right here for your future TV. Overall, another great outdoor space that really complements this house. And that's pretty much it for this video. I personally really like the house. Having a lower level like that where you have all the entertainment areas, movie theater, complementing the outdoor space that you already have is just such a great bonus. I love all the sliding glass doors opening up to the outdoor spaces of this home and bringing a ton of natural light into the property. It's a beautiful modern architecture. And the fact that you live five minute drive away from the beach here in Santa Monica is a huge plus. I wanna thank the listing agent, Lorraine Silver, for allowing us to tour their amazing listing. Make sure to give us a like, subscribe to our channel to see more of these videos. And we'll see you guys next week.